All right, what's going on guys? 3G Racing here, coming back at you with another video today. So a couple things. One we're gonna be doing today in this video is going over a review of the um, Max Speeding Rods coilovers. I'll have a link to them in the description of this video. And then also I'll show you guys what I messed up in the uh, install video. So let's get right into the action. Alright guys, so I had a couple people comment and tell me that this is wrong, that I have it facing the wrong way. So we're going to get that fixed, straightened out, because it's supposed to go uh, like sideways like that kind of, but I have it, as you can see, yeah, on both sides. So I'm just going to jack it up, straighten that out, and hopefully that'll solve that issue for us. Alright guys, so I just got done adjusting the top plates here. They're all uh, perpendicular to the tires now, and we should be ready to go. I'm going to adjust the dampering and the uh, camber on it. Hopefully get it at a good um, setup there, and then we'll be ready to take it on the road. All right, guys, and this little knob right here is what uh, just the dampening. So right now I have mine all the way soft. Um, right pretty much makes it stiff. Left you go soft. So I want mine all the way soft in the front, and then fully stiff in the back. So back here these are stiffened up all the way. And yeah, that's what we're rolling with. Uh, I might make some adjustments depending on how it rides, but that's what it's going to be at the track. So I want to get a good feel for it and see how that works out for us. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick walk around of the car just so you can see the fitment, how it's looking. So this used to be like a full fist gap. Can't do that anymore. It's about two fingers, two and a half maybe. But yeah, you can see the coil over up in there. So that's a lot better. Uh, I was just taking some pictures of this one's turn, but as you can see up here, just about two and a half as well. Uh, there's a little bit of camber in the back, not so much in the front. It's a tad bit as you can see, but go over to the other side. And pretty much the same all the way around, but yeah, there's a full walk around of the car. It's a really good angle right there too. The color looks beautiful. Alright guys, we're about to take it for a test fit now, see how she rips, and I'm going to give you guys an overall review for these coilovers. This is with having the front all the way soft and this back all the way stiff, so let's see how she goes. Alright, it feels, feels pretty good so far, not going to lie. going to have to go over a few bumps, see how uh, bouncy it is, but I'm not hearing any popping or binding like I did last time, so that's definitely a good start because that was really annoying. Uh, I did grease these beforehand, but so far they feel good. Let's see how the, she uh, turns real quick too. Let's go see how she rips.
over a complete review of the coilovers, what I think of them, a rating for all the uh, stuff that they have. So uh, let's just start that out. So first, I'm gonna start with the uh, actual like install. Very simple install for the coilovers. Um, everything fits okay, everything looks okay. Nothing was damaged, so. Overall presentation. Honestly, ride really well for what for what you'd expect. They're four hundred dollar coilovers. Honestly, I'm really surprised with them. They rode way better than they did last time I had them. So I'm gonna give that an eight out of ten. Also, it is a little bit bouncy. It could definitely be better, but for cheap coilovers, if you're going on a budget, this is definitely something you want to buy. Number three, we're gonna go with how low you can get. So the coilovers have a lot of like adjusting like stuff you can do, like camber dampening, uh, the actual height of the car. That you stuff there they don't go super super low but you can get your car pretty low with these you can max them out and you'll barely have any wheel gap in the front and the back wheel will be completely tucked we'll give that a 7 out of 10 because for you guys that are like static completely going balls to the wall with this one uh, it's not going to get you where you want to be I don't think but we'll go 7 out of 10 on that one and then last thing we're going to rate here today is going to be the core levers as a whole honestly for the price you can't really beat it they're ebay coilovers i'm not sure the reliability yet like i said in the last video i'm gonna give you guys updates down the road on how they're holding up and stuff but for 400 dollars you can get these coilovers and honestly overall i'd give it a 7.5 out of 10 uh for the for the price like you can't really beat it obviously like more expensive coilovers are gonna be better like d2s bc stuff like that but for four hundred dollars like if you're balling on a budget here i would definitely go with these coilovers all right guys so that's gonna do it use my promo code 3g racing 7 on max speeding rods website i'm gonna put a link to it down below and that'll get you seven percent off any order and it'll also get me stuff too which i can do for giveaways and it's a full sponsorship now so you guys go crank that up go buy coilovers from them honestly definitely it'll be worth your money uh, have any questions, comments, concerns, all that stuff, drop a comment down below in the description or the comment section, whatever you want to call it. But that's going to do it for today's video again, guys. I really appreciate all the support. We're almost at 1K subscribers, so that's so hype. Like, I'm so excited about that, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Peace.